Yeah, it's interesting. We've had, um, obviously, volatility kind of spike up quite a bit in 2018 uh, relative to prior years. So if you kind of look at uh, where we are now, uh, it feels like we're, uh, you know, seeing more turbulent markets, obviously kind of trending up. But what's interesting is that, you know, VIX, which is what we really look at in terms of an indicator for stock market volatility, it, you know, getting close to touching 20 probably this morning. Um, that's actually its long term average. And, uh, you know, despite what went on in, in December and, and, and November to a certain extent, um, the kind of fear gauge, the volatility markets didn't really react um, very strongly compared to what we would see uh, historically. And, and we seem to have shrugged it off again pretty quickly. Um, but the thing to re remember is that, you know, the prior couple of years, we've just seen such muted levels of volatility that where we are today, even despite a lot of the geopolitical issues and, you know, concerns around trade tensions uh, and, and, you know, the issues that everybody is kind of talking about, it is really at a pretty muted spot. Um, so uh, certainly in terms of equity market volatility, um, our, our view is that yeah. there's still a lot of risk um, to the upside on, on, on volatility. Yeah, and, I, and you know, and I don't get too wonky given the hour of the day at 554 in the east, but here's the thing. The VIX is a futures contract in large part, and when you buy a futures contract, you have an implied cost. I mean, you're basically, it's not, nobody rides for free, as they say. That implied cost seems to have come down. But what are you seeing from the markets, Nick, that may give us any kind of a clue as to which way, quote, the smart money <laughs> thinks volatility is going to go? Yeah, uh, that's a really interesting uh, issue. And like you said, uh, you, you can get a little technical. But, um, you know, generally speaking, if you want to be long volatility and long the VIX, you, you, you pay a cost to do that. And it, it comes from that futures role. And that has been a pretty significant, you know, negative detractor to long volatility positions. Um, you know, it averages maybe six to eight percent a month is a, is a typical uh, kind of negative roll yield that we see. And that fact has led to, you know, every year since 2009, negative returns to investors who are long VIX futures. And last year was the first exception to that. Um, and, and actually, you did generate positive returns. And interestingly, since uh, December, beginning of December, uh, the futures have actually uh, given you a positive roll yield. So you've actually gotten a positive return um, from the roll yield. So the kind of carry has given you positive uh, a boost to, to your expected return uh, for, for about a month. And that's a actually fairly unusual scenario. And particularly with VIX where it is, you know, again, touching 20, we still have mm -hmm. Uh, positive roll yield this morning. So what that's telling us really is that um, the market uh, thinks we're pretty close to fair value. The curve is pretty flat um, and, and we're not seeing the significant yeah. uh, negative roll yield that we have.